I don't want it to look like I'm doing an interview. Right. You're not? What? You're no. Not. No. <laughs> Having my coffee and I'm just sitting here doing my thing. You in it already? You taught me already. Yeah, that, that's the culture right there. We really set out to do something unique with our culture and, and create a cigar, true cigar culture. What is a cigar culture to you? This is my sanctuary. Mm. This is where I come and decompress from all other stuff. Yeah, you're Plus away. you meet a lot of cool people. People that you may have never met before. I believe this culture is the new um, golf. Mm -hmm. It's a networking city as well. You come in, you decompress, you meet great people, you, you form friendships, and it becomes a networking tool also. Not forced, but just a right. natural, organic. Right. You got a fireman here, you got uh, executives, you got you got Ron. <laughs> so you meet everybody. One of the, no, one of the things, you know, is we, one of our goals was to have our own cigar. But if it was gonna be a cigar, we we're gonna put our name on it, had to do, it had to push all the right buttons for, for us. And uh, then once we really found that, identified that blend and, and fell in love with what Henry Kellner Jr. was doing and what Darren was doing with Principal, but then it became, what, what do we name it? Well, everything for us was welcome to the family. You know, family, family, family. And, you know, the house means something to everybody. But for us, this is our place. We defend our place. It, it almost, it's that, it's the home team. Right. You know, it's our home it's court. It's that family atmosphere. Yeah. Right? Yep. This is the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. And it's a place where I can come in, sit with people I know, relax and nothing else matters. To me, it's just quality. It's, it's true, especially with the brands that you guys have from, you know, Principal, Patoro, you know, Atabe, um, you know, everybody that I've met that owns those companies are, they're, they're real, right? It's not like, you know, the massive person up here and, and talks down other people. So I feel like you've, you guys have done a great job you know, um, and actually took your time in sourcing a house stick. Because I've seen a lot of different house sticks that people just, they want to put a label on it, just say it's a house stick. This is truly custom, um, in my eyes, from, from what I've seen. And you, it, you can tell immediately on the taste. One key word that, that stands out to me when I think of a house stick is culture, period. It's your house, this is your culture, this is the stick. This, this stick really opens up my palate and really gives me that uh, balance. So when you enter your day, you know everything's going to be all right. Because get your you, mind right. You, you get yeah. your mind right, especially dealing with this DNT tollway. You know, <laughs> you need something that's going to balance you out. And once you get that first puff in the morning with your coffee, whatever your beverage of choice is, it could be Pappy or Buffalo Trace. I don't, we don't judge it, right? We don't judge, you know. You, uh, you start your day and it really, it really represents culture and a peace of mind. To your point, and, and thank you all for that too, you all have brought us in uh, to meet all of the, I call them designers of these uh, cigars. And it makes a difference when I'm sitting in the back with Patrick and we're uh, we're drinking a beer and wine. Ty was back there that night, and Eric, yeah. he, he's dancing, and we, so we just having fun. And I mean, it's a different feeling. Right. So it's, it's I go back to culture with with the house. You know, I think the biggest problem with the with the people who are not part of it is they don't understand it. They think it's some you know you got to be some rich tycoon who has millions of dollars to come in and sit in a lounge and have a nice cigar and relax. Mm. And that's not the case. Mm. People become different people when they go to work. I know I do. Then they switch off and they become themselves again. Right. 
Right. You know, that, that, so what, to me, I think why we get so many of these friendships so quick is because we're meeting the real person. Right. We're not meeting the guy that's all show, no I'll go. I'll tell you what, I probably uh, have known uh, the family a little bit longer than everybody here. And I remember when the concept was just getting developed. We were in the backyard because we had been kicked out of a place across the street. So we would just smoke in the backyard and ideas would bounce around and we'd smoke good cigars and it just felt like a family. And that's what they brought to this whole spot right here. We'd listen to music. Begley would cook for us, which he does every Sunday, Super Bowl or whatever. And uh, that's what they brought here. And that's why I think everybody appreciates it. It's like us being back in their backyard.